is the right way to think about a data center, utility lines and electrical lines 70, 80, 90 years ago, when day one all you were doing is wiring the house for lights, and then you hired, wired the house for a dishwasher, a TV, and everything else that goes with it. And how do you think about that technology and what really is the advantage of that data center in 5, 10, 15 years with the power supply? I differentiate that with how you might finance a portfolio of chips, GPUs, that rapidly depreciate over three to five years. And they might, still all, they might both be in technology, but how you fund and structure both of those is very, very different. And I think that's the subtlety behind, behind the headlines, which is gonna differentiate the winners and losers because in every industry, even the last 20 years that I just mentioned, those are all, those are all sectors that drew in a tremendous amount of capital, and you really don't know who the winner is from the debt and equity side for a few years. And so certainly with valuations as high as they are in this cycle right now, you have to take a step back and pause and say, okay, do I want to be a, a lender? Do I want to be an equity owner? What's the residual value assumptions that I'm making? That's really what will differentiate the winners and losers.